This is the Antonov AN-30, in service with the Romanian Air Force. 123 were built in Kyiv between 1971 and 1980, and it's got a specific job role. As co-pilot, First Lieutenant Petrut Gita explains. So it is designed uh, mostly for aerial photography or aerial mapping, to be precise, but uh, it has reconnaissance capabilities, basically. It's uh, tough a little bit, especially getting used to the high position of the pilot. The, uh, the navigator sits down there, but the pilot is way up. <laughs> Uh, and uh, it's, it, it takes a few tries to get used to it. I'm still learning to do it because I'm one of the younger pilots. I just got here like a year ago. But uh, yeah, it's not, it's not that bad actually. I, I love every single moment of it. The AN-30 has a maximum speed of 340 miles per hour with a range of 1,420 nautical miles. The plane is used by the Romanian Air Force to fulfill the Open Skies Treaty. It carries out surveillance flights over neighbouring countries who are part of the agreement. It started in 2002 and is designed to foster understanding and allay fears about the build-up of military assets. The Antonov is also used domestically. The secondary system for uh, aerial mapping and we use that in Romania. Usually we fly anywhere in between 3,000 meters and 4,000 meters, maybe a little bit higher sometimes. And we just uh, take photos of the ground for mapping mostly, uh, especially for the Ministry of Agriculture in Romania. Well the AN-30 certainly isn't a play that you see every day, a really unusual beast. The Romanian Air Force have got two of these in service and they're nicknamed the Clank. That's because that's the reporting name that NATO gave the plane. That was back during the Cold War, but the AN-30 is still relevant today and has been upgraded. It used to be mostly analog, but we just modernized it a year ago and now we have some uh, Garmin stuff on it to make life easier for the pilots. <laughs> Yeah, and it's quite, uh, it's quite nice now. We still have a lot of analog stuff, but, but the main things, the main instruments are uh, digital. The Antonov AN-30 is still in use with Romania, Bulgaria and Sudan. Russia and Ukraine also have AN-30s. A Soviet-era capability still proving it's worth today. Tim Cooper, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.